Hey guys, how's it going? Eddie here from Cornhole Bag Reviews. Today, we got the AR by Kill Shots Cornhole. Uh, before we start, I just want to say thank you for everyone supporting me so far. Um, I know, and a couple announcements, I did get a new microphone and I got a new camera set up down there trying to give us some more looks at, at the bags and the shots and whatnot. Just trying to keep increasing quality for you guys. And uh, it's still super windy today, but hopefully I can get rid of this audio issue with this new mic and really try to make sure the quality keeps going up and you guys are enjoying these reviews. So but let's get into these ARs by Kill Shots Cornhole. This is a really like good bag, interesting bag, good for different conditions kind of bag. The materials are obviously the player's material, which is the exact same slow side as the 357, their popular bag. And then you got the glass material, which is their 10 speed, same fast side as the M134, very, very, very quick. So this is a really interesting bag for the players that, you know, like a surefire kind of shot, but then once the boards are starting to stick up, you still have that controllable but playable slow side. And this fast side is like lightning fast. I mean, it does not care about humidity. It does not care about board conditions. You can slide and push through anything with this. And, you know, right now we only got 34% humidity. It's like 90 degrees. So these bags are flying currently, but feel the bag. Materials feel super high quality. The stitching is like immaculate. I mean, it is kill shots. They're one of the top ones in the, in the industry right now. They have tons of bags. Everyone's, I know everyone's buying and selling them like crazy, but stitch super, super small, corner super, super clean, nothing even out of place. I mean, no pulls, no snags, anything with how much these things have been thrown. Um, talk about the fill a little bit. So the fill is a smaller asymmetrical bead. A lot of people have that fill. I would say in terms of how it feels in the hand, the slow side, because of the material, um, it feels really, really nice, beads together well. The fast side, it's almost like a Reynolds Freedom. It's that thin, really, really quick material. So. It, you could feel the beads a little bit more on the fast side. So that's one negative that I have in the bag is, is when you're holding it, you can definitely tell the, the different materials on each side here. So in terms of stamp, these are ACL comp stamped um, price. You can get them on their website right now. They're on sale currently for around 85 bucks plus shipping. Otherwise, normally they're around 100 bucks plus shipping. So, uh, you know, and then you see them on the Facebook pages, people selling them too for in between. I'd say 70 and 100 bucks somewhere in there. And also depends on limited editions and whatnot like that. I mean, the designs, this is the classic Kill Shots design, the blood drip um, type design. Um, cool bags, feel great in the hand. Um, let's start to throw some shots here. So I'm gonna be throwing a lot of the slow side today because like I was saying, that fast side is zooming up the boards. Um, that second camera over there, as you can see, is gonna show us the second board to try to give you a little bit more of the slide. See, that's a slow side, slides up there nice, really whole friendly bag. Very similar to the 357, I mean, same material. So if you're, you know, you like playing that four to six speed, this is around a five, you know, you like that feel of that material and it's starting to get humid. That's a lot of what the people I talk to do is they stick with that material and then they move on to this when boards are really sticking up on them. I could show off a fast side here, I mean, if you don't hit the hole, it's going off. Ooh, that was not a good, the wind is 15 miles an hour again today. So throwing back into the wind. See, that was barely on the board and flew up the board and snuck in the back of the hole. Nice, see that's the slow side right there. I mean, super, super hole friendly, falls in very, very easily. Never, I never have these things hang up on the hole. If they're sitting on the hole, they're going in, even at that five speed. So really controllable, super hole friendly. Not super floppy in the hand. I'd say a really comfortable, comfortable handhold. It's not, you know, I'm not, I could probably touch my fingers in between. So it hangs a little bit, but it's not like drooping. All right, let's see if we can get a push here. Oop, I mean, push it in a little bit long. Throw a fast side here. I'm gonna throw it a little higher. Or barely make it on. Ooh. Made it on a little bit far and I literally think it picks up speed as it hits the board, these things. Are real quick so definitely not showing the uh the perfect time of the day to be throwing these bags because you know it's middle of the day right now i could easily be throwing a four six speed four seven speed but kind of shows you the nice difference between the bag but this this slow side is really really nice this is also a really good bag for the player that really likes the 357 play style oh man this wind blowing in my face eating my front boards a little left, even the slow side could zoom in right now. But if you really like a 357, you know, I know that's a 
lot of people really like playing that bag. It's kind of in everybody's arsenal or a lot of people's arsenals, but you're in an area like me where once the sun starts to go down a little bit, it gets really, really sticky. Then this lets you kind of play best of both worlds, you know, have a, have an aggressive 347 type side. Let's step out here and kind of push that one in. Oh, I caught the edge of the bag. But they're all fast side, this thing will zoom up there. Oh, that's right. See ya. But if you want something with that quicker, you know, quicker fast side, it is a pretty stark difference between the two sides. So you have to definitely have a good shot, very controllable. Have a fat, like, you know, if you're able to throw this fast side where you want to every time, I mean, it's going to push the bags in the hole. It's gonna push through almost any block. There you go, here I'll go in the air mill, should have dragged these in. Oh, a little short. Pin them all, pin them all, no. We'll do one more down back here. But again, I mean, in the hand, feels super high quality, super premium. Really nice, really nice finger feel. It was a little higher, so it stopped pretty quick for me. There's a good bag, there's a little slot of nest. Let's go a fast side, they're a little higher. Oh, see ya, go one more fast side just for fun. Oh, see ya. Try to throw it a little higher, takes away your follow through, missing a little right, but. All right, we'll come back down one more time. Again, this is definitely for the, the block and push player. Person, you know, you're right up the middle, got an accurate first bag, maybe throw up a block, and then you can push through anything with the fast side. Oh, come on, let's throw in a good, good one to finish here. There we go, that's a little better. One more aim rail. Oh, it's short. Ah. Not the greatest, this wind makes it really tough to adjust back and forth, back and forth, but. All right, well that's the AR by Killshots Cornhole. Again, one of the top companies, no one's surprised to see them uh, anywhere. I mean, the P90s, the 357s, the MOBs, the Villains, the Semtex, I mean, their, their bags are all over the Facebook pages, all over uh, people's bags. Everyone really likes to play them. Another really, really high quality bag. Definitely quicker than the 357. Uh, definitely for the block push player, um, when you're going into those higher humidity conditions, this is the bag that you want to be throwing. Uh, the fast side does not stick up on you at any point of the day, and that slow side you can still be really aggressive with. So, appreciate you guys stopping by for another video. If you like this, you know, leave a comment down below on what you want to see next and what I can do. And But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.